Voters in Loudoun County, Virginia, ousted Soros prosecutor Buta Bibaraj, replacing her with Republican Bob Anderson as county attorney of the closely watched county. George Soros has wrecked havoc nationwide by funneling enormous sums of his vast wealth into lower profile public offices with an outsized impact on the direction of the nation. Almost 20 years ago, he started his SOS project, focusing on electing left-wing secretaries of state because they are chief election officers of their respective states, resulting in major reinterpretation of elections laws. This accelerated a left-wing shift in voting laws that would result in pushing ballot harvesting, automatic voter registration, same-day registration, forbidding voter ID, and blocking other election integrity measures. In the past few years, his network has shifted to county prosecutors, resulting in repeated outrageous left-wing enclaves like New York City Alvin Bragg and Los Angeles George Gascon. They have also been a major focus in the Virginia counties surrounding Washington, D.C., like Arlington, Parisa Degade Tafti, and Fairfax, Steve Descano. But all these jurisdictions are solidly blue, just past Fairfax to the north and west is Loudoun County. More than a decade ago, it was ruby red, as was Fairfax, not many years prior to that. But now, it's clearly purple and gets outsized media attention as it appears to be both a microcosm and the fight for Virginia, but also a flashpoint for battling over parental rights and schools, especially on issues like critical race theory and transgender issues involving sports and student safety. Nowhere is this seen more clearly than that of the top two law enforcement positions in the county. The sheriff is Mike Chapman, a 46-year-old law enforcement professional who is conservative Republican managing a department with over 800 officers. But the district attorney, called the Commonwealth Attorney in Virginia, is Bivaraj, a left-wing fanatic with a list of crimes she refuses to prosecute who had received almost $1 million in campaign cash from Soros' network. The ties to the militant billionaire were so clear that Jason Mejorez, the Virginia Dynamic Republican Attorney General, challenged Soros to meet with the victims of crimes in Virginia left unprotected by the prosecutors that Soros was installing. County prosecutor races are low turnout and low budget, so contributions that are the better part of a million dollars easily overwhelm those races. But it was not enough to save Bibaraj from the wrath of the voters in this D.C. excerpt. Even though Bibaraj had a total of $1.1 million this year and her Republican challenger Bob Anderson only had $70,000. Despite a 15 to 1 cash advantage and all the benefits of the incumbency, Anderson edged out the radical Bibaraj by 68,068 votes to 67,768 votes, a margin of 300 votes. Polling shows Republicans continue to hold massive advantages over Democrats on issues of law and order, border security, and public safety. For Headlines with a Voice, this has been the Lockhart News Brief.